everyone, it's Robin. I have a mini album to share with you and it's using the Prima So Cute paper line uh, which was a new release this year for uh, CHA and um, I'll also have a few kits available on my blog if you're interested. Um, I'll show you that at the end of the video, you know, exactly what comes in the kit. So uh, basically what I did, I used CD mailers and special um, custom inserts to create this and what I did I just used my uh, regular binding but I didn't add chipboard in it I kinda wished I would have now but I didn't uh, at the time I I don't know what I was thinking but uh, I used this absolutely adorable paper I love that little frog I think it's a frog <laughs> it's so cute it just makes me smile <laughs> this little happy face um, but I used this as my my cover paper and I just took the uh, larger of the postage stamp dies uh, from the Sizzix uh, Biggs die and I painted that um, and then I think I, I did, I painted it white but then I ended up doing uh, some embossing. I did white embossing, I did a couple layers of that so it's really really smooth and added a couple of matching buttons with some uh, thread in there, so cute. And this is a Prima flower that I had left over from a kit a couple months back and then I added some stickers from another kit and you open it up it's so cute this is just such a little happy papers I love them they're so sweet if you have kids this would make a really great album and actually for adults as well it's just very outdoorsy uh, some of the papers and it's just absolutely adorable so a really good size photo mat or photo spot can go there and all the flowers are from the Prima so cute range so they have, you know, a lot of them have the little prints from the papers and things. And inside this first insert is uh, another photo mat. And I just put a sticker from my stash in there. And this one is another one of the papers. Now this is actually an insert. Um, I took a piece of Certainly Celery cardstock from Stampin' Up. And I, I left it eight and a half inches, but I cut it to just short of, um, just shy of um, five inches, which is the, the width of the album. And I scored it at, I'm not going to trust my memory, three and a half. So I scored it at three and a half, and then I moved over like the sixteenth of an inch, and I scored it again. I rounded the corners, and then it just tucks perfectly right in here. So, and then it gives me another page. So, um, you wouldn't even know it. And then right here is another, or I, you know, I wouldn't unless somebody pointed it out to me. Um, so then some more papers and another button. And this is the pocket from the CD mailer. And I just turned it into a place for photos. A uh, little, I cut this out from one of the papers. A lot of, all these tags actually are cut out from the papers, the little ones. Okay, this tucks in there. And some trim, uh, a border punch rather, I'm sorry. And let me see, this is cut from the papers, just a photo mat, and then another sticker from my stash, some buttons and some Stampin' Up! ribbon. And this one is just a regular um, shipping uh, tag, obviously, and I just cut out some of the images from the pattern paper and then made a little corner pocket, and then I added these uh, tags. It's just a journaling stamp. And then on here, this is actually, I used a, a 10 inch by 5 inch piece of Baja Breeze cardstock from Stampin' Up! And I scored it down the middle at 5 inches. And this is actually holding the two CD mailers together. So it just creates two more pages for photos. Uh, on this one, I, I put a pocket there with some of the pattern paper. And this was cut from the pattern paper as well these cute little flowers and then this one just is growing and then here as well and then I just stapled a little tag on there that says this was so cute um, and I used my tiny attacher for that and then this is a uh, another part of the pattern paper and I made a photo mat here I can tuck something back there and then this is just cut from the pattern paper uh, what I did was I, I figured out the uh, arrangement of how I wanted the 6x6 six six papers and then um, once I cut them down to size then I just I used all the scraps to incorporate into the pages as elements 
So it just worked out really well. I love this. It's so cute. I don't know if these are, I don't know if they're teddy bears or what, but they're sweet. And so, and then this one pulls out. Again, I did the same thing, photo and journaling. And I, I did the same thing with the celery cardstock, eight and a half by five, scored at three and a half, rounded the corners, and just tucks right in there. And then this one is a, another journaling place. I, I'm going to put a photo there, though. I, I don't need that much space for journaling. And then this one, another shipping label. I cut that out from the pattern paper after I stamped on it. So cute. He's just peeking there. And it holds this little photo mat or little tag. And then a sticker on the back. And then this pocket here, um, again, just covered it, uh, the CD mailer. And I can put more in here. They're pretty expandable. So we'll see. You know, I, I don't actually have it all planned out yet how I'm going to fill it. So, oops, these are stuck in here. And then just some more from the pattern paper. And so. And then here's the back, and this has a little pocket there. So, so cute. I really, really had fun making it. It was just a, a quick project, but so sweet and cute and uh, just fun. So, uh, anyway, I'll, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to actually move over to my photo box and show you the kit. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so this is actually, I'm in my kitchen now, this is actually what comes in the kit. There are 12 pieces of the 6x6 uh, six six pattern paper. Let me just show you these here. Sorry, I'm doing this. I'll try not to make you dizzy. Um, this one. This one. These are, I cut a lot of the tags out from this. Let me open up the side here. Again, a lot of tags and just different elements there. And these are actually, they, they feel almost cardstock weight. This one, this one, and this one. Okay, and you're also, um, let me see, these are the CD mailers. You'll get two of those, and that's all I used in mine. So this is what those look like. Try and hold it out to get those. And um, let me scoop these off. I'm actually going to give you two pieces of three different colors of Stampin' Up! cardstock. These are 8.5 by 11, two pieces of the Baja Breeze. Just tuck them back here two pieces of the Certainly Celery. And if you've not used Stampin' Up! cardstock, it's really thick, you know, good quality cardstock. And three of the pink. I think this is pretty in pink. And you're going to get a lot of flowers all from the collection. And these will vary, you know, with the prints and different things on them, but super cute. And here's the postage stamp that, uh, die cut that I used. And um, I actually thought about incorporating this into the kit after I had mine already finished, so I didn't get to use it. But this is one of the Maya Road or Maya Road um, envelopes, scalloped envelopes. So I thought that'd be fun. And you're also going to get a mesh bag and a couple of tags. And I, what I did was after I made my album, I went through and counted what I used. And so if you wanted to make an album like mine, this would let you do that. And then all these buttons, this is the same amount of buttons that I used in mine. And I didn't use a whole lot of ribbons, so I just included 12 inches of each of these. And these are all Stampin' Up! This one is um, Melon Mambo Grow Grain. And this is a Baja Breeze uh, Twill, it feels like. And this is a, an Old Olive and White Grow Grain. So, uh, that's the kit. If you're interested, just let me know. I have more information over on my blog, um, a still photo, a list of everything that comes in it, and of course the, the PayPal link. Um, but if you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.